shut down, uh, it's been shut down most of the evening, shut down a portion of West Florissant which has been the scene of a lot of the protests, uh, and maybe that has driven a lot more over to this area in front of the police department, but uh, a sizable protest presence, as you can see. One of the things St. Louis County Police Chief John Belmar and other members of the United Command have said today, the Unified Command, that they do not, under any circumstances, want a repeat of what happened last night in Ferguson. Those 21 fires set numerous injuries, 61 arrests in Ferguson last night. There were three people injured, and this is a live picture from our helicopter with that season's greeting sign that has become familiar all across the country as people have uh, seen pictures of the smoke that was billowing from across Ferguson last night. And here it is again tonight at the same time when all of this started happening last night of all of these police officers now in the streets and protesters confronting them. We do have some video from just moments ago of one of those arrests taking place. We saw police move in with about five or six officers go in and take someone out of the crowd. This is one of those protesters. You see their uh, hands tied behind their backs and they're taking that protester out. George Sells on the ground there said someone threw a smoke bomb and that's what really moved police, uh, ramped things up quite a bit and things started getting even more tense. It had been peaceful uh, for most of the evening. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't think they have a problem with the protesters being uh being on the side of the street there uh, chanting or holding their signs or whatever, but then you throw a smoke bomb or something at the police, you're provoking them and they, they get arrested. But they've said you can you know, have your peaceful protests, just don't turn violent uh, like they did last night. And so far, uh, uh, it's been fairly peaceful there. Benita Cornute is with us. Let's call her in and uh, see what she can I don't tell know what us. I'm saying. Benita, can you bring us up to date? Yes. Hi, Tom. How, uh, how are you? Yeah. Pardon me? Yes, we're, we're on uh, South Florissant and we're just trying to get a sense of um, what is in fact going on over here. Uh, there's a large crowd gathered, as Mandy has indicated. Mandy and Tom have talked about it, uh, looking at, at it from Sky Fox. Um, we know that uh, there's a, a line of law enforcement actually approaching uh, that group of uh, protesters, and uh, we've been told that uh, they're actually trying to arrest someone. I don't know how successful they will be, but uh, the plan is to, to try to pick someone out of that crowd and take them away. Now, uh, we're in the middle of the street and there are uh, people gathered around law enforcement. There's media in the center of that crowd. Uh, and the National Guard, again, is standing on the parking lot, um, maintaining the, their position in the event they need, um, they need to, to come out into the street. But uh, we're going to uh, continue to watch this. It's uh, a, lot, a lot more tense than it was earlier, uh, just an hour ago even. It was uh, very, very different. Suddenly, um, things changed, and I'm not exactly sure what caused the change. But again, uh, we're here on South Florissant, and we're going to continue to try to figure out what's going on. People are not feeling um, particularly comfortable uh, with the situation uh, today, given what was uh, presented by um, uh, the media late this afternoon with the interview with Officer Darren Wilson. Some people are actually reacting to that interview, feeling as though it was... Um, insensitive or uh, sort of poured salt on the wound. People are feeling pretty uh, uncomfortable right now. I don't know where this is going to go or how much longer they're going to be allowed to stay here on uh, South Florissant. But um, we'll be here and continue to bring you coverage. In Ferguson, I'm Bonita Cornu, Fox 2 News. All right.